Without your hard work, the yeshiva would not be where it is now. And of course, behind every great Russian yeshiva, if I may say so, is his Ashish Chaya, Rivka Budenheim. Well, welcome to the yeshiva to say it, Terence the 15th, Angela and Christopher. Annual dinner. Thank you all for coming from far and near. Hodu Hashem, she told. Kiriyodom Kansa. The same I put it for. And of course, and of course, special thanks to my own Asian sky, who just did. I've heard nothing would happen behind the scenes. And congratulations and thanks to all of the honorees for supporting the yeshiva and giving up their precious time. I'd like to thank the dinner committee for the many hours of work behind the scenes to make this most beautiful event so unbelievably successful. <laughs> especially and especially to Barry Stein and the executive director and his anxious child, Karen. Yet because of Esau, 
this principle nullified, nullified for our being to be saved. So we have to ask, what was so much worse about Esau than Yeshua, the father of the Arabs, that this principle should be nullified and that Abraham should not be saved? And the answer is that Ishmael was never designated to be Israel, the nation of Israel, which means to lead all creation. Israel was created to lead all creations uh, to call out the Almighty's name for his honor. Whereas Asa, whereas Asa had this potential, he had the greatest potential. After all, he was the twin brother of Yaakov Avinu Jacob. His father was Yitzhak Avinu Isaac. He was to receive both the Bechora, the rights of the firstborn, and in fact to get Yitzhak Isaac's blessings. And what did Esau do with this potential? on both sides. What did he make of himself? The word Asa, his name, translates and means instant, already made, already complete. He believed there wasn't any effort needed to perfect himself. He chose to be driven by instinct rather than to use his great intellect that he had. His goal was to revel in the selfish pursuit of his immediate physical desires. When we take the greatest of potentials of both sides and let it go to waste, that defies the purpose of creation. How does man honor God? by man honoring himself, by recognizing that he is made in the image of God, that he is actually a part of God, that the tremendous blessings and gifts that man has received can only be fulfilled if he accepts the responsibility for cultivating these gifts. The example, the most fertile field will rot if it isn't work. If its potential isn't brought into reality. In that way, Aesop was the antithesis. Aesop was the antithesis, I'll say it again. Aesop was the antithesis of the purpose of creation. The purpose of creation is the glory of God, and man is God's greatest glory. And man is God's greatest glory. And man can only give that glory to God by emulating God. By going in Hashem's way. And that was God's goal. That was Jacob. Jacob sought to understand and attain the deepest knowledge of God by understanding the will and way of God. Jacob spent 14 years in the base medrash of the Holy Study Hall before meeting the challenges of this world. Why? I spent 14 years when he's about to go and face love on the challenges of this world. Why? Why did he go into 14 years of study? You know why? To gain the strength to make the most mundane things holy. I'll repeat. To gain the strength to make the most mundane things holy. To perfect himself 
How? To draw close to Hashem, the Almighty. As it says, King David, give us a little help. Only getting close to Hashem is so good. And in doing so, in doing so, bring glory to Hashem. How? To learning Torah. The only thing that can counter the devastating loss represented by Esau, the wicked Esau, to this very day is its complete fulfillment by Yaakov and his children and us. It was in this marriage that Abram was saved from the murder. Yaakov's fulfillment was to make the Torah his reality. He was a Yoshev, a holy, dwelling in the tents of Torah. It was his life. He made it his essence to the extent that he was one. He was one with the story, with the study of Torah. He was one with the study of Torah. As it says, uh, Israel, Israel, your life is in Torah. Could you forgive me, the Holy One, the Chag of Avon? And that is what PTI is about. To help every Jew achieve this potential. To achieve, to give glory to Hashem, that's what PTI is about. In doing so, glorifying Hashem through his immersion in Torah study. Again, thank you for your continued support and strengthening us to continue bringing every single Jew with love and feeling and care for each one of us. Amen.